stop. Your opinion does not matter. Rat girl is a great prop. I don't want to hear it. She's not the girl version of Johnny Punk. If anything, she's the girl version of Pumpkin Nester. She's just that good. An instant classic. You know what? No. She can't be a classic because everyone hates her. No one's going to remember her. But I just got her from Spirit Halloween today and I am going to unbox her. I'm going to start off by taking a quick look at the box. Look at that amazing face. Here's the side. And we've got the back. You could pause it if you want to read the story or whatever. And then the other side. Oh, look at that. I swear if I see one hate comment on me getting this. You're done. Banned from the channel. See ya. She is such an underrated prop. Why does everybody hate her? She is literally so good. The detail and just execution was amazing. You know what? No, 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 no. Why don't I just prove it to you guys? My hair's getting in my face. Why don't I just prove it to you guys? Let me unbox this and I will show you how good she is. Let's do this. Open it up. First thing inside, we get more cardboard. Isn't that amazing? Oh, let's pull this out. I feel like this isn't going to be that hard of a setup. I feel like it'll be pretty straightforward. See ya. All right, what goodies do we have in store here? We've got the feet. Okay, come on. These are probably the most detailed spirit feet we have ever seen. Hold on, I gotta get the flash on for this. Look at that, look at that insane detail. That is wild. Look at that. All right, here is the body on the swing. Oh, even the hands, it's just so detailed. We got the control box. And of course, the adapter. Now, here is the glory. This is going to be the best part right here. You know what? I'm getting up close and personal with you guys. I'm going to be very careful. Do not want to ruin the amazing head. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. She's probably one of my favorite spirit props for the year. All right, here we go. Latex head. Right there. Look at that. So cool. What a great face. Look at those eyes. I can't oh, look at that. The movement. Look at them turn. That's so creepy. You cannot tell me this is a bad face. And I mean, like, the camera really just doesn't show justice. She looks really shiny from the camera. She's really not that bad. Like, there's a little shine from it. But that's just because, like, there's a flasher right here. Just look at those eyes. Alrighty, I guess let's set this thing up. Let's see here. All right, step one, attach the head to the pole. Hey, you guys, how's it going? It's editing Tyler. I hope you guys are all enjoying the video. Um, yeah, this part, it, it took a bit. Um, getting the head on was not the most fun thing in the world to ever do. You know, it's classic crazy create. It's hard to get the heads on. Like, it's very small screws, very small holes, and a very small area. So it was a little difficult, but I tried doing it just with my hands at first. Bet not a very smart idea. You know, usually with a screw, you want to use a screwdriver. That would be your best bet. So eventually, I got up and got one. But it still took a minute. I kept dropping the screw like usual. Um, but yeah, I sped up this process so you didn't have to endure the same suffering I did. So thank me later. Make sure to like. That's how you can thank me. We did it. All right, step three. Attach the metal tube to the upper body by inserting the bent end of the metal tube into the plastic socket under the shoulder. All right, just go like that. Secure with a black screw. <gasps> no. I hate it when they fall out of your hands. Is this even the right way? All right, now we're gonna attach her onto the base. Where? Where are we attaching her onto the base? Maybe like this. We move this thing. Oh. How's that? Is that a better view for you guys? Alright, so attach onto the base and then screw into the base. That should be easy, right? <laughs> That's what I said about this whole setup. I feel like this isn't going to be that hard of a setup. To be honest, it really wasn't even that bad. It was just getting the head on that was hard. Just because it was so small. And when I started, I just didn't have a screwdriver with me. You know, having a screwdriver with you when you need to screw something in, it really tends to help a lot. Who would have thought? Now we're just gonna... Wow. Alright, make that look all nice. Where do I hang it? Maybe? Oh, beautiful. 
How convenient that I've got a hook there. Which way should the mech face? I don't know. You know, we're just gonna leave it like that. Could always twist it around if need be. Alrighty. I can't see the lights are blinding me. I just realized you guys can't see what I'm doing right now. The camera's like just not positioned that way, is it? I wish I could like lift her up a bit. With all these lights blinding me, I couldn't see this wire. So you know what? I think I have this backwards. All right, let's spin this around. All right, so now this, right, it's gonna plug in to here. Perfect, let's go. Flip this around. I think we're done, right? Where's her adapter? I think we just need to plug her in. Let's hope, fingers crossed. There is a very noticeable wire right here. How do we fix that? I don't know. Let's not worry about that now. All right, let's plug her in. Be blind, my. Be blind, my. See how they run. Not fast enough for me. <laughs> Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Like I said, you guys definitely need to think about getting her. She is such a solid prop. The detail and just everything, the creepy factor-ness of all of that. You know what I'm talking about. It is so good. Definitely worth the money. Pretty good size, too. Like, a lot of people were saying she's going to be too tiny. No, she is definitely life-size for the character she is. It's amazing. But, like, there's really no flaw. I mean, like, there's this wire here um, that could just easily be hidden. Like, if I cut this zip tie here and then run it through the arm, I could just easily do that. And then, I mean, like, the motor's a little loud, but it's a classic swinging mech motor. There's, you know, if you like swinging props, this is definitely one that you need. It is so cool. I love it so much. But yeah, I hope that you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace, peace out.